Well, it's uh, Friday after Thanksgiving 2015, and this is the first opportunity that I've had to even get out into the woods to do a little hunting. Um, it's been a busy fall so far. I haven't even had a chance to really come down here and even clear the fields and, uh, and plant anything, but my dad uh, supposedly did that and cut and cleared the fields and put some seed in the ground so I'm gonna check those fields and I've also got a couple of game cameras that have been in here since September I think end of September so probably over two months now so I'm sure the batteries are dead but I'm gonna pull the cards out of those and uh, maybe uh, put some more batteries in them and put them back out uh, I'm gonna go that way to hunt this afternoon back over in that part of the woods uh, the winds coming out of the east today um, it's pretty warm though it's like 70 right now so I don't even know if I'm really gonna enjoy this or I'm gonna even see anything moving but I haven't had a chance to get out here so this you can see the uh, fields have been cut and planted and it's coming up a little bit I'm seeing a little bit of new growth mixed in there so that's good. So we are getting a little bit of a little bit of grass coming up. I'll walk down here and check. I've actually got a little corn feeding trough that I'm sure is empty now. I'm gonna walk down here and just look at it. Oh yeah, it's empty, which I expected. That's all right. I'll freshen it up later deer the deer and the raccoons keep that empty pretty pretty regularly all right I'm gonna take this camera down and put some fresh batteries in it so this is one of the fields that we hunt on a little shooting blind right up there on the edge of the hill and the deer often travel along this fence line here and travel up that way or they will come from back down that way. This is a fence line that divides our property. Looks like we may have some that cross right in there. Uh, jump in the fence, a little open area there. But they travel along this route. And we've, we've killed several, nothing spectacular big, but several does and small bucks that have come through here. Not a whole lot last year. So hopefully this year will be a little more productive. This is another one of our little green patches that we plant. Doesn't look like it's coming up quite as good yet. There's a few little sprouts over there. But uh, I think Daddy might have got this one planted later. I don't remember. But this is a, another little shooting house that we use. Um, it's been here several years. It's, it's a nice place to get if the rain, if it starts raining. But, uh, the deer a lot of times come out over there in that corner. And this is a fence line back there on the side of this field. I've had a few come back from up on the hill that way and come down into the green field. In the last couple of years, I've started hunting right over there in the edge of those trees right there, you see. And setting up a little ground blind and stopped hunting in the in the shooting house here behind me and uh, I've had pretty good luck my son was sitting right there when he shot his first buck which was last year it's a little five point and it came out right over there and he shot it so that was a good good experience so I've got a camera right back over there in those woods so I'm gonna walk over there and Put some fresh batteries in it and oh, my other little corn trough of course is empty as well thanks to hopefully thanks to a lot of deer but most likely the raccoons and crows probably had something to do with it too here's my little camera i'm gonna take it down i think i'm gonna move it to another spot right, so it's <clears throat> i've decided that uh since i'm traipsing around all over the woods back here 
I think I'm going to just do a little scouting today since it's warm anyway. It's like 71, 72 degrees. So I think I'm just going to scout just a little bit and see if I can't find a few little spots to hunt later on. Last year, the greenfields have gotten where they're just not as productive. We haven't killed as many deer or seen as many deer uh, on the green fields the last couple of years. So I'm still going to hunt them probably later in the season, but for now I think I'm going to pick a few spots uh, in the woods that I can set up and try that earlier in the season. So I'm going to walk around a little bit, look for some sign, and see if I can't find a spot or two that might be worthwhile. I want to show you one other thing while I'm out here. Uh, I like to bring my little GoPro when I'm in the woods camping and stuff and hiking and hunting. So I decided to camouflage this case that I've got. Now this is not the original case that came with my GoPro. I've got a Hero 3 Plus Silver. That's why I bought it last year, I think. And it came with a little bit different waterproof housing. I think they redesigned it and this was the older one for the Hero 3. But I bought this one off of eBay and if you've seen any of my other videos where I modified the housing, I, you can see I, right there, I drilled a hole there and there over the, uh, well this one is actually for, so I can plug in the external mic. This one is over the USB uh, plug. That hole you can see right there, if you can see it, is the one over one of the mics. And that one is over one of the mics. And then it's got the skeleton back. So by no means is this waterproof, but it does provide some protection on nice days when I'm not going to get it wet uh, for the camera. So I just taped off the lens cover and the window cover for the LCD and uh, gave it a little camo paint job so it's not quite as noticeable and reflective when we're in, I'm in the woods using it during hunting season. So I just thought I would show you what I did there. It only took a few minutes uh, to do. And I think that makes it a little bit uh, more useful when I'm in the right, This is the third, third little green field that we uh, plant every year. Looks like the grass is starting to come up okay on it uh, as well. It's uh, on the front part of the property. Normally we don't hunt this one that often, but... Uh, from the sign of the tracks down here, we might need to focus on it a little bit more this year. Some good sized tracks, of course the ground's soft, so kind of hard to get a, a feel for the size of the deer. But there's quite a few nice sized tracks there as you can see. It's got a little double, double ladder stand right up there on the edge of the hill. It uh, doesn't have the best cover, so we don't, we don't actually use this one that much, but uh, maybe we should. All right, this is a little tripod stand we bought a couple years ago. I don't think I've hunted out of it, but maybe once. But uh, that's kind of looking down this little lane to a fence corner right over there and this is the direction I came from that way so I'm gonna walk down here and look and see if there's any sign there's an open field on the other side of that corner right down there about it's probably about 30 30 35 yards from here, maybe 40 yards from the from the tripod stand there but um, I'm gonna walk over here because I think the deer are traveling this fence line towards the back of the property that first field that I showed you is up it runs down that fence line that fence line that I showed you on that first field is this same fence line here it runs west west to east east is that way that's due north what you're looking at straight ahead so i'm gonna 
take a look in this corner and see what right, I got the camera. I got the other camera set up. I set up one on the back part of the property and one right down there on that tree right there. And uh, we'll see what they pick up. I'll come back and check them in a few weeks <clears throat> or so. I'm going to make my way back out to the truck. I think I've traipsed around this, the property enough now that uh, I think I'm not going to worry about hunting this afternoon. Because uh, it's warm and uh, I've laid enough scent of my own around the property now that I don't know how much activity we get. So I'm going to head back to the truck and sit down and eat a little bit of a lunch. And then I'm going to head back to town. So that's about the extent of it right now. So that's a little tour of our, our hunting property. That's that noise I heard. There's a buzzard. I don't know if you can see him. The buzzard up there at the top of that tree. I heard him come in a minute ago. I think I remember several buzzards sitting up there the last time I hunted in this little tripod stand here. He's a pretty good size. Right up there. That dead tree kind of keeping a lookout, I guess. See what he can find to snack on. So, all right. I'm going to make my way out of here and head back to the truck. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hadn't had a chance to get a video out in a while. Hadn't been done doing any camping uh, really at all and since earlier this year. But uh, I'm going to try to do some here because the weather's cooling off. But uh, I'll squeeze in some hunting too. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of our hunting property and uh, hopefully be able to get some videos of me and my son and my daughter doing a little hunting this year. Hopefully we'll be able to kill something. My daughter's anxious to kill her first deer. My son did last year. And my daughter's looking forward to shooting one herself. So hopefully we'll be able to bring that to you later on. Well, that's all for now. Talk to you guys later. See ya.